Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome back to my Swift series. In this video, we're going to learn about object-oriented programming. Now, what is object-oriented programming? Well, it basically consists of two main things, classes and objects. Classes are that overall branching theme. It's the blueprint that you can use to create multiple objects off of. For example, a class could be cars, it could be people, it could be a force, it could be animals. And then an object would be an instance of that class. If I have a class car, an object would be um, a Tesla car, it could be a Ford car, it could be a Chevy car. All these different types of cars fall under the main theme of cars. The whole point of classes are that they're supposed to be vague, okay? You go from vague classes and then you go ahead and create specific objects from them. That's how classes and objects work, where objects are an instance of that class. So let's go ahead and create our very own class and then hopefully things will make much, much more sense. So you create a class by specifying the class keyword and then our class name. In this case, we're gonna create a person class, okay? And then that's basically it. That's all you really need to create a very simple, the most basic class of all. Now, if I wanna associate this to a variable, let's say var person one is equal to an instance of this class, I wanna create an object. I'm gonna go ahead and say var person one is equal to person and then brackets. So now my person one object is an instance of my person class, that's it. That's the most basic form of object-oriented programming, but it works. Now the next thing is to add properties to our class. Every person has a name and an H. Let's go ahead and specify those two variables. We have var name, which is a string, var age, which is an integer. And now to set those variables when creating our object of this class, we use the init function. So go ahead and type over here, init, and then I'm going to do this in it. And then we do the exact same thing as parameters in the function. We specify the name and the type. We specify the name and the type. So name string, age, integer. And then over here, we just set the variable. Self.name is equal to name. Self.age is equal to age. So when we're creating this person over here, we are going to go ahead and say, my name is Avi. My age is 16. Fantastic. So let's do a quick recap of what just happened. We can use the init function, okay? The init function allows us to set properties for an instance of the class. Every person needs to have a name and an age. We set both of those in our init function. We created two variables to say that every person should have a name and an age. And then we set those variables, self.name and self.age, refer to these two variables over here. And we set them equal to the parameters passed by the user when creating an instance of this class. So var person one now has the name Avi in age 16. If I want to access these values, I can go ahead and say person one dot age person one dot name. Okay, fantastic. Now the next thing in classes are methods. Okay, so in any class you have, you'll most likely have some form of a method. So I'm going to go ahead and create a greeting method. So func greeting. Okay, we don't have to pass anything in for now. And let me go ahead and start the brackets there. So funk greeting, and I'm going to go ahead and print out, um, hello, uh, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and say, your name is, your name is, and then plus, or actually, here's something I haven't taught you guys. So if you want to place a variable in a string, okay, you're printing out a variable, and you don't want to use like the clumsy plus and then the variable name and stuff, what you can do is you can say backslash, and then in brackets, just put in the variable name. So backslash my variable name is self dot name. So your name is this and you are, let's go ahead and do the same thing. Self dot age, you are 16 years old. Fantastic. So this is something we haven't talked about and I probably should have brought it up in an earlier lecture, but an easy way you can add variables in a string when you're printing it out is that you're putting the backslash and then in brackets, the variable name. So that way Swift will interpret it as, okay, so you want me to put the variable value instead of whatever this is right now. So your name is your name and you are blank years old. Fantastic. So that is our greeting function. Now what I can do is I can go ahead and say person one dot greeting, and that's going to go ahead and print out your name is Avi and you are 16 years old. Fantastic. So that was the basics of object oriented programming. Okay. There's still a lot more I'll cover in the next lecture. But basically, we were able to create our very own class. We could associate properties with the class. We had an init function where we passed in parameters to 
when we create the object of the class, every we, we want to pass in parameters, right? Where the person's name is obviously the person age is 16. We did that using the init function. And then we learned about adding our very own methods to our class. In the next lecture, we'll cover overriding methods and inheritance. If you have any questions on object oriented programming, don't hesitate to ask. Basically guys, this is the essence of all programming languages, okay? Any language you learn, you will need to know how to make classes, how to understand this stuff. So again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. And if you like this video, don't forget to share it and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.